Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. Then you want to wear loose, comfortable clothing like Carol and I have on. You'll want to have water that you drink before, during, and after our time together. You'll also want to make sure you work at your own pace. So if Carol and I are going a little too fast, you slow it down. If we're going too slow and you can pick up the pace safely, then you go right ahead. And always listen to your body. If we're doing something and your body goes, whoa, I don't want to do that, pay attention and honor what your body's telling you. Your body will never lie to you. Also, you want to make sure that you're holding on to something nice and sturdy. Carol and I have chairs, but you may want to hold on to the back of a couch or a counter or something that's really, really sturdy. So if you have a chair, make sure it's not a rocking chair. Make sure it doesn't have any rollers. And because we're going to be working behind the chair, you'll want to check your environment. Make sure there's nothing on the sides or behind you because we're going to be doing a little traveling on the back of our chair. Our chair is always there to hold on to. Sometimes Carol and I will hold on, sometimes we won't. So you do the same thing. Safety is the number one thing we have to think about. Also do a little at a time and do it consistently. So exercise with us and then again tomorrow and the next day and you'll find the more consistently you exercise, the stronger and more flexible you'll feel. Also, of course, you want to eat foods, fruits and vegetables. Make sure you drink your water. And of course, if you smile, that's always an added benefit. So let's meet Carol. Hi, I'm Carol, and I love to do things outside when the weather is great. But I also like my inside activities. I like to read, and I love to dance, and I love to exercise, but you know the slogan, the more the merrier. So please, please join us. You'll have a great time and you'll feel so good afterwards. You should be proud of yourself. Yay, I love that. And she's right, the more the merrier. And Carol and I are very merry, so we're <laughs> glad you're gonna join us. Today, we're gonna to be working with paper plates. So we've put our paper plates on the floor. If you don't have a paper plate, you could just take a box, whether it's a cracker box or a cereal box, cut a little triangle on it, and you can put your foot right in there and move it all around. Or if you have a pie plate or a Frisbee, but you wanna make sure there's nothing that's sticking out on the bottom. Like you don't want a plastic plate if it has a little edge on the bottom. So you wanna make sure you can just slide it. There's my pie plate, here's my Frisbee. So you can really have anything you want, but you wanna make sure they're the same size. So if you're ready, we'll get all warmed up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, away we go. So we're standing up behind something very sturdy, which is our chair. And we're gonna shift our body weight side to side. There you go. So we're feeling all the weight on one foot and then the other. You'll notice that our heads are high, our shoulders are up, back, and down, our chests are high, and gosh, our hearts are right open, welcoming the day. There you go. Now watch Carol, because she's not holding on but I am. We're shifting the body weight from side to side. Now we're gonna take one foot off a little bit. Remember, if you're working on balance, you can follow Carol, otherwise follow me. You're doing a great job. Okay, let's touch that foot down and just go side to side. And now we'll bring that foot right in. Step, touch, in. Remember, you can go slower or you can go faster. This is your time together. That's it, great. So remember, if you wanna challenge your balance, follow Carol. Remember, she was a professional dancer. So if she has a little oomph in her step, well, <laughs> just think of me. I'm gonna try and try and try and put some oomph in my step and then I'll have triumph. Right? Right. Okay. Now instead of touching the foot in, let's bring the heel to the buttocks. I'll show you from the side. There we go. 
So the heel comes to the buttocks. We're standing tall, our ears over our shoulder, our shoulders over our hip, and right underneath our hips are our knees. We keep the knee down and back. That way we stretch out this thigh as we're strengthening the hamstring. Good. Now just let's touch that toe back. Just toe back. Good, good. Now you'll notice Carol isn't holding on and I'm going to hold on with just one hand. So you can hold on with two hands or one hand. Our chests are high and gosh, we feel great. There you go, good. Now I'm gonna lean forward just a little bit and pull that straight leg back. Let's see if we can pull that leg off the floor. Wow, your balance Whoa. is good, Carol. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. You should be Are proud, you proud of, yourself. of yourself. You should be. That's right, because this is not an easy uh -huh. time together. Good. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Hold it here. Just shift the weight side to side. Now we're going to hold it center and roll right up on our toes. Here we go, up on the toes. The reason we're doing this is to have nice flexibility in the foot, but also to work the ankle because we're going to be having, when you work with something like the paper plates. Now our paper plates are going on the carpet. If you have something like a wooden floor or a tile floor, then you're going to want something like a face cloth or a hand towel. So you can put that down so you don't want to scratch your floor. So we're on carpet, we have paper plates, but you might want something softer on your wooden floor, like a nice dish towel. There <laughs> and you, go. you know, you're really dancing because in dance, what you're doing now is called a releve. Really? Yeah. So I love it. you're not only exercising, you're dancing. Yes! We're doing the relevé. That's right. I love it. Okay, now we're going to push our heels down and try to lift those toes. Lift the toes. There you go. Good. Now you'll notice I'm only going back a little, but Carol is really leaning back. So if you want more of a stretch, follow Carol. Excellent, good work. Lifting those toes, lifting those toes. You're gonna feel a little tightness on the sides of the shin. And you're gonna feel your calves stretch out. There you go. Now, if you're ready, we're gonna put them together. Here we go, up on the toes. Lift the toes, roll Whoa. up on the toes. Whoa, I feel this. <laughs> Four more. My calves. Three, yeah, our calves are really tight. When we go up on our toes, our calves tighten up. Good. One more, one more, you're done. Woo, let's shake them out. Good job. Okay, what we're gonna do is a little more with that foot. And we're gonna put the toe down and sweep the heel in and out. So of course it looks like we're working the foot. Our knees going in and out, but guess what? We're working the range of motion of the hip. So we'll really use our hips today. We're gonna be working hard today. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> I love that. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, Good. Hip. Hooray. <laughs> okay, now relax that foot. Shake it out, other foot. Toe down, sweep the heel in and out. Like any exercise, you want to start with a small range. And then when you feel more comfortable, you really sweep that knee in and out. And of course, we're pivoting on the ball of the foot. You're doing so well. Hip, hip, hooray. Yes. I love that. <laughs> knee in and out. Good. You're gonna feel it right in your hip oh, yes. and pay attention to how it feels on the hip. Remember, we're gonna be crossing our leg one over the other. So if you've had a hip replacement, your doctor may say, don't cross the foot in front or across midline. So pay attention. And I have a little arthritis in my hip. So I can feel it when I do the outside turn. So. If you have arthritis and it bothers you like it bothers me, slow down a little and don't extend it so much. 
That's a great idea. Thank you. Okay, let's shake it out. Wow, we really got our feet, didn't we? We sure did. Okay, now we're going to work our knees and our hips again Ooh. this time. All we're going to do is pick the knee up. Here we go. We pick the knee up and down. Good work. Huh? Now you'll notice Carol is very brave. She's balancing. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not. But of course, I will reach down if I need to. So that and you is do a, the same. Good. That's a good example Carol's giving you. When she feels off balance, she's going to go ahead and touch her chair. There you go. So the knee comes right up. That's it. Now the knee goes down and the heel goes up. So we're bringing the heel way up to the buttocks. Wee. When we did it in the warm up, we were going kind of quickly. So we didn't do the full range. Now, boy, when that heel comes up, we are getting a stretch of Rooney right on that thigh. But we're strengthening the back of the leg, our hamstring. Can you feel that at all? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, and let's shake it out. Wow, that's pretty good. Would you like a little water? Yes, okay. I'm dry as you can probably tell. Ah. We're really doing great with the legs. We are doing a lot of leg work, I'll tell you. So now all we're going to do is shift the weight side to side <coughs> because we don't want to forget the upper body. So before we go back to the lower body, using either our paper plates on a carpet or a nice cloth, a face cloth or a dish towel on a floor that's either wooden or tile or something where you don't want to scratch it up. So have those ready. You'll notice that Carol and I each have a plate ready for action. But we're going to sweep our arms side to side. There you go. We're going to let those shoulders, whee! It kind of makes you want to say we, doesn't it? <laughs> You can tell that Carol is a dancer. And not that I'm more grounded than she is. Oh. <laughs> and sweep the hands in front. Ah. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. Now you'll notice that we started small. As our range gets bigger, we roll up on the toe. Roll the knee and the hip in. So we're protecting our back as we're sweeping our arms side to side. And I always like to work the waist. The waist. The waist. The You're waist. Right. I feel waist good. Waist not want Why not. not? <laughs> now we're going up and over like a rainbow. Oh, and over. It does make you want to go Ooh. wee, I must admit. I feel like a windshield wiper. Well, that's exactly right. <laughs> this is no rainbow. This is a witch <laughs> <Thank you>, wiper. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Remember, do your best. If one shoulder doesn't go up high, do your best. Always do your best. The most important thing is you're here and moving with us. Hooray! Now single hands reach up from the shoulder. We're going to reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. Nice. And we're rolling up. Now, notice what's happening with Carol. I just noticed Carol out of the corner of my eye. She's rolling up on her toe. So she oh. is really reaching high. There you go. Get Remember? A good stretch. A good stretch. If your shoulder hurts, you can reach with your arms front slightly. So instead of reaching up like this, you can reach forward slightly. And that will be easier on your shoulders. Great. Let's push forward now and pull the other arm back, opening up the chest. This is a hunky-dory now, isn't it? Push and pull the other arm back, chest high, feeling like a million bucks. Your bodies love to move and they are so happy you're standing up. Remember, these can be done sitting down too. You can get this rotation if you're sitting in your chair. Now follow the fingertips up and draw the arm back. Open the chest. Golly, this feels wide. great. Yeah, Big good. and wide. Yes. It's like someone gave us a yacht for our birthdays and they have big portholes and they just didn't remember to use some nice window cleaner on the portholes. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. And now just the shoulders. So the shoulder goes up 
and back oh. and down. Aha! We are getting some stretch today. Yes, that's exactly this right. Is, we're going to feel so nice and loose when we finish. You are right. Like little loosey gooseys. <laughs> quack, quack. And now relax the shoulders and just let the hands sweep around. Fingertips go across the body to one hip. The other hand comes behind you. There you go. This feels so good. It's kind of like shaking a shirt out without any sleeves in it. Well, sleeves, but no arms in it. There we go. Now just bend the elbow and bring the fingertips to the opposite shoulder. And again, we're shifting our weight from one foot to the other. Now we're gonna lift that elbow up. There you go. And now we're gonna comb our big, beautiful hair. Woohoo! What I have of it. I just got it cut. <laughs> Boy, did she do a job. She did a great <laughs> job. We're gonna pretend we have bouffants. I'm gonna pretend, yeah. A bouffant. I love the word bouffant. It's a good thing I didn't have a baby girl. I would have named her Bouffant. Bouffant. <laughs> yeah, I like that name. Okay, let's relax those arms and shake everything out. How are you feeling? Whew. Warmed up. So we're going to take a little drink of water. Ah. And we're going to prepare to work our plates or our rags or our dishcloths. So what we're going to do is just start with one. We put the ball of the foot on it. We don't right. put the heel on it because if we're sliding out to the side and we keep going and going and we can't stop, ah! then we push the heel down and that's our break. That's our break. That's our break. Okay. We don't get a break actually. <laughs> that would be our break. Okay. The ball of the foot is right in the center of the plate. Slight bend in the knees and just slide the plate back a little bit and forward. Now you'll notice Carol is not holding on. So this is great because if you're advanced, you can follow Carol. But the and chair you, is always there, right? Mary? The chair is always okay. there. Thank you, Carol. And if you're getting, if you're climbing the ladder to advancement, you can follow me. There you go. And you'll notice that Carol's having alternate arms swing forward and back. That's great. Last two, forward and back, and forward and back. Bring it center, please. Step off the plate, shake those feet out. You don't realize it, but this is one tough workout. Okay, let's go to the other side. The ball of the foot goes on it. Remember the break, so the heel does not go on it. And we're gonna slide it back a little and in. Back a little and in. Good. Very nice, you're doing great. Stay with us and you're gonna get stronger and more flexible. It's kind of hard to keep that toe down on it, isn't it? Yep, it's a little hard, but you gotta press as hard as you can. That's right. So what Carol said is true, you have to kind of push that toe down so that the plate doesn't go flying. Yeah. Then we'll have flying plates. I could wax my floor like this. This you're isn't right. bad. <laughs> <laughs> have to That's have a, right. little, a little floor. But... <laughs> Last two. Last one and done. Okay, shake those feet out. So we went back. Now we're going to the side. Okay. So one foot on. You're going to stretch out to the side and in. I'll show you. There we go. Out to the side and in. Side and in. Good. So we're warming the hip up laterally by going out to the side. And this really is a handy dandy move because if you go to the theater and your ticket just happens to be 32D, <laughs> then you have to go behind a lot of seats. So this is a handy dandy move. Good. Three and done. Shake it out. And let's prepare to do the other foot. Remember, only the ball of the foot. You want to have your brake handy. And slide out and in. Good. So ideally, I'll show you from the side. Ideally, your foot comes out and it stays in line with the knee and the hip of the other foot. But if this hurts your hip at all or your back, you can bring the leg out to the side and slightly front. So if it hurts your back at all, that will help a little bit. 
So we're going out to the side and in, side and in, side and in, and we are done. Shake it out. That's a lot of work, Ooh. isn't it? Woohoo! Okay, let's bring the shoulders up, back, and down. Ah. Now, Carol and I are going to be very brave, and we hope you are too. But we can't do this without having our brakes ready. The ball of one foot goes on, break down. Ball of the other foot on, break down. We're going to be traveling. Thank heavens we have our chairs. Two steps to the side, two steps to the side. Here we go. Are you ready? Um, with you. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go. Step together, step and change. Step together, step and switch. 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 Now we're going to try to make it just a little bigger. Step Whoa. together, step. Whoa! Step together. Now you notice try. Carol isn't holding yeah. on. Step. Try to keep your feet very firm on that plate. Otherwise, I think I'm going to lose it. <laughs> the plate, that is. That is. <laughs> okay. Hold it right here. You're done. Ah, let's step off the plate and shake out. That was really, really good. That was fun. Now, it's, we did a lot of stepping out to the side. So, we're going to shift the body weight side to side, and we're going to bring the foot across the body. Remember, if you've had a hip replacement, oh. your doctor may tell you not to do that. So, we're just going to swing the foot over. Again, I'm going to be holding on. And we're doing rather big crossovers. If you can do a small crossover, that's great. If you want to keep your foot on the floor, that's okay. But what we want to do is stretch out that outer thigh because by golly, that really was working. It was. Good job. Again, I have to be careful with this leg. So I just will extend it as far as I can without feeling a pain. <laughs> and so that's really good because Carol's working within the limits of her body, which are very few, but she does have some. That's it. Last one over here, last one over there. Great job. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very, very Relax. Yeah. Now we've really worked our. <laughs> I think our... it means I'm pooped. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not too pooped to participate. No, I'm not too nah. pooped to participate. All right. So we went back <laughs> and we went to the side. Now we're going to put the ball of the foot, okay. and we're going to stay a little to the side of the chair, so that our foot can go forward a little and back a little, forward a little and back a little. I'll show you from the side. Forward a little, back a little. It doesn't go very much in the beginning. But if you say to yourself, you know, this is good and I'm really feeling it, but I'd like to bring it back a little further. If you do, that's okay. But pivot forward from the hinge on the hips. Pivot forward, good. There you go, that's excellent. You're doing so good today. Thank you for joining Carol and me. Good. Last one and done. Let's make a little circle. Four, three, two, and reverse. You know where I feel it on my other leg. Stand. Oh, see, I lost it. See that? <laughs> That's all right. You have a lot of other good qualities. <laughs> and, and relax. This Shake is what you call a rond de jambe. See, a you're dancing again. I'm telling you. We we're did a releve and now a rond de jambe. So we're dancing and exercising. You've got to love that. We're getting two lessons in one. Okay, let's try the other okay. foot. So we're standing off to the chair a little. We bring it forward and back. So as with every exercise, we just start easy. And then once we get the hang of it, our bodies go, you know, I think I could probably do a little more. If your body's saying that, lean back, 
when the foot goes front and use your arms on the chair. Good work. That's it. You've got it. You've got it. Doesn't this feel great? Yes. Okay, let's hold it here. Make four circles. One, two, round de jambe. Two, jambe. And then reverse the round de jambe. There you go. Is it a round de jambe no matter how you go? Yeah. Oh, good. And step off. There we go. Wow, that was great. How are you feeling? Oh. That was a lot of work, so we have to stretch out our legs. So what we'll do is hold on to the chair, and we're going to try to bring one foot up. Now, Carol can reach her foot, but I have a little bit of a problem. So I'm only going to hold on to my pant leg. My knees are lined up. We're squeezing our buttocks tight, and we're nice and tall. And gosh, we feel great. Can you feel that nice stretch? Sure. <laughs> then we're going to release that foot, bring the heel forward, and sit back with a toe up. There you go. That is a walloping good stretch on yep. the back of the leg. So we stretched out the quadricep. And now we're stretching out the back of the leg and slowly up. Good job. Let's try the other side. So on the other side, okay. we're going to pull that heel up. I have to hold on to my pant leg, but I'm trying. Good job. Try to push the knee back a bit. Squeeze the buttocks, chest is high. Gosh, we feel great. It is a walloping stretch, but by golly, we really worked hard today. I'm telling today. you, Woo this is a workout. That's why they call it a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Swing the leg front, push the hips back, keep the leg straight. Wow, can you feel it right on the back of that leg? Mm -hmm. Wow, holy moly. Mm -hmm. And now we're slowly gonna come up. Now, I'm sure Carol knows this one. This is called cat-cow. So we put our hands either on our thighs. I'm going to have Carol put her hands on her thighs because she's good at that. I'm going to put mine on the chair. And you're going to have a slight bend in the knees. And you're going to tuck the belly in around the back. And then flatten the back and lift the head. Tuck. Doesn't that feel good on your spine? And lift. There we go. And tuck. And lift. I have to concentrate for this one. Yeah, it's a tough what, one. It? Yeah. It's a hard one. Yeah, you have to pull the hips pull, in yeah. and up. And then you got to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like an angry cat on Halloween. <laughs> and then slowly come up. Ah, that was great. Whoa. How are you feeling? Me? Yeah. I'm feeling like I really got a good workout. We did. We and if you did all of this, you deserve applause. Yay! Good job. Woo. Let's have some water. I could use Thank it. you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.